I want to ask the question, what can keep me from being saved? Have you ever wondered, can I be saved? Or, if you have at one time accepted Christ, have you ever doubted your salvation? Remember this, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. That's Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Are you a sinner? Then Jesus died for you. Are you worried because you have done something sinful? Jesus died for you. Are you worried because you have had an affair? Jesus died for you. Are you worried because you keep thinking sinful thoughts? Jesus died for you. Have you been convicted of a crime? Jesus died for you. At a low point in your life, did you curse God? Jesus died for you. Romans 5 verse 6 says this, For when we were still without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. It does not say he died for the righteous. If you are a sinner, and that includes every single person on this planet, Jesus died to save you. Many people say Christianity is not inclusive, but there is not a single person on this planet who cannot be saved if they repent and accept Jesus. John 3.16 For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So what can keep you from being saved? There is only one thing that can keep you from being saved. That is the belief that you don't need to be saved. If you say, I don't need salvation. If you say, I am good enough by my own works. If you say, salvation is just a foolish myth. There is no God, there is no sin, and I don't need salvation. That is the only thing that can keep you from being saved. In order to receive salvation by grace through faith, you must accept that you need to be saved. God reaches down from heaven and offers us a free gift. That gift is called grace. We reach up and we accept that gift. That is called faith. We are saved by grace through faith. And it takes both God offering us that gift, which he has done, and us accepting that gift for us to be saved. It is the job of the Holy Spirit to convict us, make us realize our need for salvation our need for a Savior. When we say we don't need to be saved, we are contradicting the Holy Spirit. Matthew chapter 12, verse 31. Therefore, I say to you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven men, but the blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven men. It isn't that God doesn't want you to be saved. It's that because of free will, salvation is a two-way street. God will not force salvation on you. If you do not want God to be part of your life here on earth, God won't force you to be with him in eternity. You are free to say, I want nothing to do with God. And God will say, okay, not happily, but he respects our free will and our decision on whether we accept his gift of salvation paid for by Jesus Christ on the cross or not accept it. So if you are worried about your salvation, if you are worried because of something you've done, or of something you've said, if you ask, how can God save a sinner such as I? If you are worried because you used to be full of faith but have fallen away, that worry in your heart just means you want salvation. And if you want salvation, all you have to do is simply accept it by repentance and accepting Jesus Christ as your Savior. Romans 8, verse 38 and 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life Neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height or depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is Jesus Christ our Lord. Have a blessed day.